Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video on the next gates. So here you can see we are using monorepo, right? And I'm just trying to troubleshoot one common thing. Here I'm trying to run one of my application, let's say open in the integrated terminal. And I will do npm run start. I know this won't start because of uh, the dependency issues uh, which I have in this project. And what is the issue here is it is not even able to identify the type ORM core module. And why is that? Because I have these different repositories, and here you can see it is trying to pick uh, nest is common 9.0.0 with the uh, bit from express 9.0.0. So how the Nest.js works? Nest.js has these different versions, 7.x and 8.x and the 9.x. And somewhere, I'm not putting the dependencies properly. So when you migrate to Nest.js 7.x to 8.x, 8.x to 9.x, there are some dependencies which you need to upgrade together. So here you can see, I, I can sense some of the problem with my dependencies. So what it is trying to do is, it is trying to use nest.js core 9.0 with the platform express and the rxjs 7.x. So maybe one of my dependencies not satisfying the criteria and that's why it is breaking. So here every time if you try to see what it is trying to do is nest.js common it is picking up 9.0.0 that is correct. Platform express is the version correct. I think reflect metadata and the rxjs. So all these uh, dependencies should be in sync. We cannot just use uh, nest.js common 7.x with the nest.js core 9.0. In that case, it would be become a problem. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to just see my dependencies problem. So how you can do it? You can just try to do a pnpm install and try to see where the, the versions are not matching because I'm just trying to baseline all these dependencies to 9.0 and here I can see lots of dependencies issues, right? So when I'm using 8.0.0 nest.js type ORM, so that's totally wrong, right? So what I need to do, I need to first of all upgrade uh, wherever I'm using this uh, type ORM, 8.0.1, first of all, in this project, I should not even using uh, this 8.0 type ORM because I'm using something else here. So just remove the type ORM. It's a problem, right? And then we will just try to upgrade the dependencies. This is solved. And uh, it is using next yes, next, right? Mm -hmm. So I will just try to, we'll keep this window open. And I will just try to go inside this application. And I will try to add these dependencies globally. I think it is uh, just yes, uh, next next. Okay, let's go to this project. This is not like this. It's a simple next next yes. Okay, maybe it will upgrade uh, to some other version. Try to see. Okay, next yes, next, next. Do we see any upgrades here? It's still five dot okay no, it's not being done dependencies, it should be independencies. So I'm just trying to install the dependencies here. Now, because this might be the older version and we might have some latest version which I can use it. And you can see 0.0.17, right? Now I have upgraded it. Now if I see the dependencies now, the, the issues. So those are kind of issues are sorted, right? Uh, I think that project is gone now. And I see lots of issues with the, the SQLize app because might be I'm using some uh, outdated versions here. So how to fix it? First of all, this should not have a log file. And I will go into the package JSON and try to upgrade the dependencies to the 9.0.0. Next JS core common, this is equalize. 
this is equalizer go to the packageson okay here i got the problem right uh common is this one fake tools and then elastic search event emitter and i can see here so i'm not using the passport event emitter at all because these port versions are compatible with 7.x and here we are using netgs 9.0 so you can see understand this Elasticsearch 7.1.0 is more compatible with the Nest.js common and core version where it version was 6 or 7. But if you are using Nest.js 9.0.0, just an example, it can be just any random uh, module. Here you are using Elasticsearch 7.1.0, that's not compatible, right? So how to fix it? Let's say I'm using Nest, SendGrade, Elasticsearch, Twilio or any other dependency. So I will go inside this app open in the integrated terminal and try to install this i will remove these dependencies first and then i will just try to do pnpm add it will give me some sense okay based on the dependencies which are already there it will try to install the compatible version of elastic search in this if it is there and i can see it's you it is using 10.0.0 that's good right so I can still see there are some issues with the Nest.js MongoDB API, right? It's all Nest.js common. So what I will try to do, I will try to upgrade these one by one and then see you in just five minutes. So here uh, I'm just fixing all these dependency issues and finally a couple of them are left. So let's try to see. Uh, it's saying unmet peer dependencies found 26 and we are expecting 27 right ts chest so let's go to this project 05 and go to the package json and what it is saying just read it unmet peer dependency ts chest uh, let's see do we have it so ts chest is already 27.0.0 okay ts chest is this version we are using 27.1.2 and types jest so there are two dependencies we are using type jest is 27 okay so it is saying is just upgrade the types for the jest file types jest okay do we are we using it yes so we need to upgrade it to 27 27.0.0 maybe and it will fix it so tss and then this mongodb and what it is saying is uh, mongodb api these are like just another some demo examples which i placed in so nestjs common so it is using mongoose 9.0.0 okay and nestjs mongoose is compatible with uh, all these versions so maybe we need to upgrade the nestjs mongoose so that it can be compatible with this so we'll go to this terminal and let's see so here what we are what i want is i want to add a nest.js mongoose which is compatible with the nest.js common 9.x so here oh that's it so we got the 10.x right so because 10.x is more compatible with that and now I'm left with only this one and I already know that this is TS chest so I need to update the typings jest core event emitter passport I think I need to upgrade uh, nest yes, swagger swagger also I need to upgrade so I will go to the sequelize sequelize app and I will try to upgrade some of these dependencies okay so what I will do is the because I don't know which version is uh, compatible so what I will do is I will first uh, remove this passport and then i will remove the event emitter and then swagger because it will i will try to install them which is compatible with this and then ts chest we already know what needs to be done if i, will, I can just upgrade this to 27.0.0 and the typings also we can upgrade to 27 that should fix this and then uh, in this project i will just pnpm add nest.js passport so it will give me the latest version nest.js swagger based on the nest.js core and common which is 9.0 and nest.js event emitter let's see what will happen so i'm upgrading some of the dependencies based on the the core and common of nest.js version we have 
and obviously it will upgrade and you can see I am left with only one dependency right so TS node is 9.0.0 that's correct so we can just upgrade it to 9.0.0 because we are using TypeScript 4.9.5 so obviously TS node should be around 9 sorry uh, and I can just do is pnpm install to see if any thing left to fix otherwise my dependencies would be clean so this is how you should meet your PA dependencies and if you are seeing these errors and warnings that means what is that really means is you are using some mismatch of the versions and that's why because if you are using nest.js code 9.x and nest.js common 7.x then there is a there are chances that some of the libraries will break and your applications won't bootstrap with this so i did clean up all the dependencies uh, and even i removed the package lock uh, by ml why because earlier the the package dependencies in these folders were random now i synchronized all the dependencies so that we can meet to the common uh, package version which is 9.0.0 and you can see we are using all 9.0.0 so when you are using only an independent application this issue will not happen but if you are using these monorepos and you are using any random versions in individual repositories then obviously it's not going to work at all what you need to do you need to come to a conclusion okay i wanted to use nestjs 8.0.0 9.0.0 then only it will work and now i can just simply do npm run start on this project because this is the project where we are going to play with uh, type ORM and we will also see what are the migration changes happened uh, in the next years now I can run this project happily without any issues right so this is what you need to clean the peer dependencies and you need to come to a standard version and standard version for even for the type ORM because recently a couple of uh, developers are complaining okay they are not able to run the, the next GS type RM projects so you can see here we are coming to the one conclusion we are using 9.0.0 and type RM 0.3.12 and everything runs perfectly fine okay now what we are going to do next is try to identify the differences in the type RM earlier version and the this version and this is just like a simple APIs we have in this next GS type RM this is you can see the domain couple of entities and just uh, controller and the services and we will see what all changes happened uh, in the type or earlier version and the latest version and how we can migrate our changes so here we can compare uh, I'm just looking at the change change log for the type ORM it's talking about this particular version I mean it was released earlier but still in couple of projects I was using the earlier version and recently I'm just upgrading them so this connection has been renamed to the data source that is important uh, thing because now this is deprecated and you would be using connection which is an instance of data source and this is how you can you can establish a connection by creating a data source uh, type ORM now properly works with the node modules uh, it is supporting the latest node.js version and now you will see uh, a different queries like there is a find find uh, find this particular query has been changed old way to create a custom repository has been dropped okay I can see okay through the query builder we were doing something like this user repository dot find relations with the photos right so here I'm trying to find uh, inside a user repository with the relations this is like I'm trying to get the user repository data with the photos so I will try to talk about some example so find what the user repository dot find uh, earlier was taking uh, a simple parameters but now it is taking the whole a lot an object right find and count method signatures were changed and these are like a breaking change so now new select type signature is accepting the find options and you can pass the whole object something like this so I, I like this uh, uh, this 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 way of doing a find and this is somewhat similar to what Prisma provides in Prisma also you can just select a nested uh, relations also in the photos I need ID file name from the album I need ID name so it's like really nice uh, I, I don't need to do a join to fetch the data particular columns from the photos and albums right it's like you can do all those things from simple find operations right 
and it is now relations what all different relations you wanted to populate for the user repositories so this is really nice you can also load and nested the relations this is the major change with the 3.x a uh, new order type signature inside order you can pass an object and id is ascending and descending so this uh, i mean nested or nested order by operations is, is also supported order has a photos photos has our albums and just give me the order based on the name of the album right so it's like nest js is doing the same rocket science which uh, prisma is giving us and i think it's a lot lot simpler now uh, this is the breaking change because now earlier we were doing uh, orm config orm config is still works because this is how you can get the data source object data because in data source you just need to pass the object and orm config also provides you the same uh, json object right so all those things uh, find one id signature is now dropped so this is important earlier we were just doing a find one and passing the id now you need to pass the full blown object and this is how it looks like find find one you need to pass the object where you can pass the the where clause where condition id equal to this and pass all the options find by okay i think to supply where condition directly without find options new method are also there find by name find by id you can also do this if you just want to skip the where conditions from this syntax okay this is really interesting find by id is were dropped you can just do simple find by id and pass the id in an array so you can do find by ids okay so now this uh, this is how it looks like earlier where the photos was null now you can just do find where photo is null so this is little tricky and a couple of more this is how we were defining the relationship many to one one to one now i think the relationships are also simplified when it comes to defining these entities many to one user and these are all deprecated i mean the ora con config uh, the overall is deprecated so inside a data source now it is accepting all the entities we don't need to specify the migrations and subscriber and all those things okay the new way of doing it so dot find we were doing it something like this select you me this new way of doing it pass it is inside a find options find and this is accepting an object where you can specify select id true first name true last name true that means i want only these three columns earlier you we were passing that as an array so here this is how we were loading the relations earlier like find relations and we were just passing the relations inside a type rm dot find i mean repository dot find here now you need to explicitly tell okay i wanted to populate the contacts true inside photos i wanted to populate albums true and again the this we are using the data source and data source is giving us everything i like the connection manager i think it's also giving us the query builder and you can maintain the multiple data source connections uh, with the different uh, even data source urls okay uh, because because uh, what you can do from this documentation which i can read is you can create a multiple data source and based on the data source you can create you can actually access those different data source connections and it can point to a different data source points okay this is really nice so uh, i mean these are still some changes going on but there is no uh, breaking change right now but i think now these documentations has been updated so working with data source data source options let's say i'm trying to do with the postgres so i need to pass all these properties for the data source entities are still the same i guess this is how we are defining the entities uh, this is how we are passing the data uh, data source and data source takes these entities where you can pass the entities classes like user courses uh, university entity column primary column i think these are still the same uh, only that was the the breaking change we can see and these are the relationships one to one many to many many to one many to many working with entity manager working using query builder that i wanted to see 
so query builder now you will be getting from the data source earlier we were getting it from the connection dot repository now everything you are going to get from the data source data source get repository get query builder so it is giving you the query builder on the user entity okay this is same same join with the user table user table with other tables and then migrations now we can just create the migrations creating new migrations you just need to have this i mean we are just using the cli right and i have already shown you how we are generating a new migration based on looking at the, the, the entities and the database state we are able to generate the migrations transactions the uh, other important part which has changed our transactions because connections are now deprecated so this is how you will create now transactions so data source to transaction and here you can just start do, you accessing your entity managers and doing transactions like this transaction entity manager dot save user transaction entity manager dot save photos so this is your transaction managers so this is how we, you can do it with a query runner also this is important data source dot query runner so here you will just connect you will do the start transactions do some transactions if everything is good then commit transaction otherwise rollback transaction so this is what we mostly do in the code what we do is we get the query runner i mean this is how i do the transactions i will be doing the transactions get the query runner from uh, the data source then query runner dot uh, start transaction to start it try catch do some transactions everything is good commit the transaction otherwise roll back and then finally release start so start transactions commit transactions and then release the transaction it's like a three step process and uh, is there anything which we can discuss so selecting a query builder all these things repository api is also changed so we can get the repository and then we can just create call the create query builder and get the instance entity manager apis so you can also do manager.query find options which has been changed which i already discussed so now we are just passing this whole object and you can just specify what relations you wanted to populate so you can see this is what it will do so here you are trying to populate profiles photos and the video right so it is trying to do the join with the user repository so instead of writing the joins you can just populate the relations like this it's internally going to execute a join and this is the or operation i guess where okay sorry this is end operation and when you are doing how can i specify or if you are specifying that inside the array that means this is a type orm or operation because where first name can be this or this okay first name and this and this or because in this object these will be the end but when you are putting these objects in, into an array then both of these will become or condition so select star from this where where first name timber and last name saw and or first name stan and the last name lee interesting so this is how you should do it just remember how to pass an object or how when to pass an array this is the limit operations also I mean you can skip so and uh, take 10 so it's like a simple basic pagination is enabled now like skip and take so I'm just thinking that uh, type ORM 3.x is more inspired by the Prisma APIs in the Prisma uh, I used to do it something like this order skip 0 take 10 and same as like you can select a particular columns and you can populate a particular relationship all those things are making type ORM really nice I was thinking to move to Prisma, but after seeing the changes, I think I can a little bit more, a little stay on to uh, type ORM only. You can see here this query. What I'm trying to do, what this query is doing. Use the repository dot find. Select these two columns and do the join with these three different relationships. Apply these where close. Order by name and ID in the ascending and descending order skip the first five element take the next uh, 10 element and enable the caching right so if you look into the sql query it is generating it's really nice and then you can just do the advanced options and all but this is moreover how we are doing it 
everywhere you will see the data source instead of connections the find options are now object and in the find options you can specify lots of things you can you can skip the, even doing the joins 